So we studied an impact crater on the far side of the moon near the South Pole, not too far from where NASA's astronauts will be landing in, in the next few years. And what we in particular were examining was the debris thrown out of this impact crater. And that debris was, was, remar was remarkable in that it actually carved two canyons nearly 300 kilometers long, 20 to 25 kilometers wide and two and a half kilometers deep. From a scientific point of view, how they're formed is fascinating. Um, we can actually calculate the path of debris that produce these canyons. And in this case, we're talking about streams of rock, not streams of water. And these streams of rock carve these canyons in about 10 minutes. And as I said, we we draw comparisons with the Grand Canyon because they're similar in size, actually a little bit bigger than Earth's Grand Canyon. And in comparison, the Grand Canyon on Earth took five to six million years to carve. So this was a very violent, a very dramatic geologic uh, process. For the Artemis exploration program, these results are interesting because they indicate that most of the debris that was ejected out of this basin was thrown away from the South Pole, away from where the astronauts are going to be landing. That means that the landing sites for the Artemis astronauts will not be blanketed with a large amount of this debris which means they'll be able to access even older rocks from the earliest epoch of lunar history. And for those of us on Earth, this is a, a tantalizing period of Earth history. Um, we do not have rock specimens. We do not have terrains that are over 4 billion years old. And so we're really relying on the exploration of the moon to fill in the time gap, that period of early Earth and lunar history.